That thick first picture, I think, said it all. Bundle up, have the toque that covers the ears oh, yes. and the face and yes. everything. This is not a time to be a fashionista. That's no. what I have to say. Uh, and I'm being very serious, too, when I say that. Uh, you can get frostbite within a matter of minutes it's in weather like this. What you want to look for is numbness or whitening of the skin or anything like that. In fact, Erin, if you have a look here, these are the communities that are under uh, an extreme wind chill warning. Now, that doesn't mean that the winds are going to be very strong. It just means means it's cold enough where it makes it feel below the minus 40 mark and that means frostbite can occur in less than five minutes. This is what it looks like around the region with the wind chills. Now just to let you know, city of Edmonton is in the range of five to ten minutes before frostbite can set in. That is on exposed skin if you remain out in the cold. Anything that gets closer to the minus 50, we're looking at two to five minutes before frostbite can set in. So it's something that we definitely need to look at. Now, would you believe we didn't even break a record low temperature? The record low was actually set back in 1961 at minus 33. And this morning, the city went down to minus 31. Of course, records only deal in actual temperatures when we're looking at this. But the cold air is flooding right across Western Canada. Thanks to this Arctic high pressure system, it's going to stay here for another few days. Eventually, though, the jet stream will start to ride over Alberta. We'll get onto a warm side and yes temperatures will go up but we have another four days or so of weather like this tonight being one of the coldest but really it's going to moderate will still be well below normal for this time of year good thing is we don't have to deal with any snow on the highways however if you are traveling along uh, QE2 keep in mind we could see black ice developing along some of the pathways western roads not doing so well a little bit of snow still falling in the foothills and will continue the threat will be there anyway until until we reach uh, Monday before all of this clears out. And for the city of Edmonton and the immediate surrounding communities, bitter cold. It'll feel like minus 40 in the city overnight tonight. Doesn't take much of a breeze. And when the sun rises at 842 tomorrow morning, won't be much different either. For tomorrow afternoon, still cold. Temperatures at minus 30, but with a slight breeze, only five kilometers an hour, it could feel like minus 36. So one more time, make sure the truck is plugged in. This is what it looks like around the province for tomorrow. As you can see, still bitter cold. And for the four-day forecast, yeah, that cold blast is going to stay with us. Again, it moderates slightly, but as you can see, it just doesn't get up to normal for this time of year. But Aaron, as we move beyond the four day, if we could actually get close to the freezing mark, and of course, when I return, we'll have a closer look at the 24 hour forecast for communities around the region. I like to focus on the future. Always looking forward. Always looking forward. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Susie. You're welcome. Gillette, 